Hello my friends. Welcome to Tom's Tinkering and Adventures. Today is Sunday, so it's time to have Sunday services. Got the bike loaded up here, threw in some water, a couple snacks. Got my uh, spot tracker along with me here so that my, uh, my wife can feel comfortable if I'm gone longer than anticipated. And I'm uh, gonna head out and go for a little ride. Uh, I'm supposed to be meeting a friend and then uh, go ride up in the mountains east of San Diego. There's some, uh, they're called truck trails in this area. They're kind of like fire roads, uh, graded gravel road, whatever you want to call it. It's nothing too, uh, too difficult, but they wind up the, wind up the mountains uh, just east of San Diego and you can get a pretty nice view on a clear day. And it's looking to be a beautiful, clear, Sunny Southern California day here. So we'll see how it looks. Sometimes you get up there and uh, it's not as nice as it appears, but uh, from the top of the hill, you can see all the way out to the ocean. You can see downtown San Diego. You can see the islands off the coast. So I'm hoping it's a nice day. We can give you some nice views. I'll try to stop in a couple places and give you all a little um, idea of the scenery. It's really nice and uh, this bike will have no problem with it uh, this rider is probably the uh, only issue that's me actually I'll be fine and uh, oh I did a bunch of work yesterday uh, was working on my buddy's KTM I think I got that wrapped up for him but then uh, my uh, one of my other friends came over and he helped me get the cylinder head uh, studs torqued on this Yamaha Rhino here, we uh, came up with a creative solution for the uh, torque adapter tool that I did not have. So between the two of us, we can think like almost one normal human being. Actually, we get pretty innovative together and that's kind of nice. We collaborate and come up with solutions. So now that I have that done, I can hopefully get you part two of the Yamaha Rhino, get that thing done because it is towards the end of October already and desert season is well upon us. So I'm looking forward to heading out and doing some weekend camping and riding in the desert and uh, getting y'all some videos from out there. It's one of my favorite things. That being said, let me uh, finish loading up this bike and uh, head out and hopefully my buddy will get there. I think he just sent me a text. Said he was having some bike problems. We'll see what happens. Well, my friend uh, had some trouble with his motorcycle, so I, since I was already packed up, I just headed out, take it easy, go ride by myself here. One of the things I really love about San Diego, besides the fact that uh, it's probably about 80 degrees today and it's uh, late October, is that uh, you can go about 30 miles east of downtown San Diego and be in something like this. And it's just quiet. I don't know how well you can see, but there's all kinds of little trails and roads out here that go up into these hills. This down here is uh, just over the hills is Mexico. You maybe can see there's some, looks like some smoke rising over there. But that's Mexico down there at this point. I could look on uh, Google Maps, but I suppose I'm about two or three miles from the Mexican border right here. And this, uh, this uh, mountainous area here is called Otay Wilderness, O-T-A-Y. I, I went riding out here, uh, it's probably about two years ago maybe right after a big rain and uh, it was amazing. Um, as you go through some of these areas, there's um, lots of hillsides and granite and rocks and stuff like that. And there was hundreds of little waterfalls that I'd never seen before. So it's really dry out here right now. We are in what's known as fire season in San Diego. Um, some of this area here is a, uh, well, this is all 
either Wilderness or BLM, Bureau of Land Management. And uh, it's legal to shoot on a lot of this land, but they close it off due to fire hazards. So let me get you to another cool place. There's lots of neat places here. Well, as you can see, there's some wildlife out here. Looks like there was a deer. And there obviously is something that eats a deer out here. Fun stuff. All right, let me go find something cool here for y'all. Now here's something that I, I hate about this area. You come out here one week and the gates are all open and then you come out the next week and the gates are all closed. Now this is supposed to be public land and um, this is quite common, probably all over our nation, but especially in California, lots of our public land is closed off to us. And uh, when you're asking these uh, organizations like the Bureau of Land Management why it's closed, you can never get a solid answer. And it's very frustrating because what happens then is people tend to cause trouble and they go on land that they're not supposed to and they destroy it and then it ends up closing more land. Whereas if they just had the land that's supposed to be open available to us, it wouldn't be such an issue. Um, the area beyond this gate is really nice. It drops down into a valley uh, just on the north side of the uh, San Diego Tijuana border. Well, of course, east of Tijuana, east of San Diego, but a uh, really nice little lush valley down there. But it uh, doesn't look like we're gonna get down there today. This is one of those uh, waterfalls that I was mentioning. When you get rain, this all turns into a waterfall and that basin down there collects water. Uh, lots of little waterfalls in these hills here when it's raining. But it looks like I'll have to turn around and then uh, take another road and I'll try to get you up high, see if we can't see downtown San Diego. Another thing I like about riding out in this area is um, what I like to call windows to the past. And uh, you ride up and you find something like this, remnants of a uh, chimney. And there's lots of these out here. And it makes you wonder, you know, who homesteaded here? What was this area? You know, somebody had a house here, a little ranch, something like that. There's all kinds of those things out here. And uh, some of them are easy to get to. This one's very easy to get to, but the, my favorite one is a really difficult one to get to. And uh, there's a lot of stuff left. There's a, a foundation and even some floor tiles. And I found lots of abandoned mines out here. So just some really interesting stuff. Looks like I have a, another motorcyclist out here. So maybe he'll come up here and we'll see what's going on. But uh, I love seeing this sort of stuff. It's just really neat. It just gets my mind wondering about the hardy individuals who made their, made their life out here and uh, how long ago it was. A lot of people say San Diego doesn't really have fall colors, but uh, a little bit of color in these hills. Which is funny because they turn green in the fall and the winter and they get darker in the summer. There's some communication towers up here. Here's something interesting about this road that's uh, about a lane and a half wide, so a lot of these corners are kind of blind corners. They have these mirrors so you can see around them. And now let's go for the awesome view here. There you go. That's something nice, huh? See how quiet it is out here? Unbelievable. All 
I'm making my way up to the uh, high point of the uh, mountain up here. So once I get up there, we should be able to see down on uh, downtown San Diego and the ocean. And it looks like it's a nice enough day that that's going to happen. So we'll continue onward. It's just a glorious, glorious day. Thank you, non-denominational higher power. Praise her. If anyone dares to tell me that this ride is not worth it. Yeah, it is nice up here. We got some marine layer, so you can't see the ocean very good. You can see downtown San Diego right there. Let's see if we can zoom in. Of course, Pacific Ocean out there and Coronado Islands, which we cannot see today. There's another peak right there with some communication towers. You used to be able to ride up there, but you really can't anymore. Um, that's off of a road called Proctor Valley Road. This is uh, Otai Lake down here. Down here is the San Diego Tijuana border. Brown field. And over here is a uh, Tijuana. So all Mexico down there. Right down the hill down here. Let me see if I can zoom in and catch it. There's a uh, border patrol truck. Let me see if we're in the right area here. Right there. Sorry, I'm shaky here. Don't have the uh, don't have the super gimbal like some people do, but a little bit of fog and just absolutely beautiful day. There's our communication towers up right here. I'm on a uh, Mexico network right now, so I don't dare use my phone, or it'll be. $20 a second or something. But uh, you just can't beat it. Nice day. Motorcycle's working perfectly. Thank you very much, Yamaha. Love you guys. The road's in not too bad a shape. Um, actually, the, the road up to this communication tower, which is off of the, uh, the truck trail that I was on, the uh, road up here is paved, but it is just in, that is in bad shape. There's potholes everywhere, and there is about uh, a foot, foot and a half of uh, pavement that you can kind of thread around. So you gotta go this way, go around a pothole, go that way around a pothole, and uh, they're pretty big too, so getting in there on the bike would not be a good thing. But I'm gonna sit up here and enjoy the beautiful view for a while. And uh, then we'll head on, head on down, head on home, and uh, get some lunch. There's about three or four different ways to get up to the top, well, to the highest point you get on here, but every one of them, as you get to a certain height, you kind of go through what, uh, well, it's a coniferous, coniferous zone. You might have to look that up. I like to use big words sometimes. It makes me feel, makes me feel intellectual. But well, there's lots of these uh, pine tree style trees here. Conifers, the coniferous zone. But every one of these uh, ways that you go up, as you gain a certain altitude, there's a lot of these kind of trees here. So I wonder if that's what it is, if it's just the altitude. But I find it very interesting. And it's only for a little ways. As I was making way, my way down here, I'm going down a different way than I went up. Um, I remembered a fact about this, uh, this uh, mountain and this road. And it's something that I want to come back and check out. So if you're a country music fan and you're familiar with Reba McIntyre, her band, uh, was playing here in San Diego, and I believe, and I'll have to look this all up when I get home, but I believe it was in the uh, mid to late 80s. And 
and um, her band flew out on a chartered plane and they crashed into this mountain and her band was killed and she was not in the plane obviously but uh, there's supposed to be a memorial out here somewhere for it so at some point I'm gonna have to look it up get GPS coordinates I do not have a uh, GPS but I'm sure I can put it in my phone and figure out where it's at but I've never been out here to see it just find it interesting you know it's a, one of those facts so we will continue our way down through this coniferous zone which is not very big get down the mountain here and I just love the views here love it hope you're enjoying it as well I'll see you down at the bottom on my way home um, I stopped at a uh, casino Indian gaming casino Native American uh, indigenous people whatever the PC term is these days uh, this is the uh, one of the newest or the newest uh, casino they built in San Diego County and, uh, I just stopped to check it out I've uh, ridden by it it's been open I don't know maybe about a year Ridden by it several times I'm not really into gambling I did spend one dollar on penny slots but I ended up winning because I drank two sodas so cheers to that um, yeah I'm not into gambling but I uh, just wanted to see what it looked like in here um, usually they have pretty good buffet so maybe I'll come back and check out the buffet that's that's where I can clean up at I can win at the buffet for sure but uh, really casinos always interest me seeing the the people inside generally don't look like the healthiest people and uh, I don't know maybe they're just looking to get rid of their money before they move on to the afterlife I don't know uh, definitely not a young crowd so uh, anyway that's just my thoughts on casinos so if you all enjoy them then please continue enjoy them um, and I will continue to hit up the buffet whenever I can all right let's head for home we're back in the uh, Global Domination Headquarters and uh, enjoying a uh, post-ride beverage. Uh, thank you very much for coming along on a ride with me. I hope you enjoyed uh, some of the scenery and uh, learned a little bit about East County, San Diego, and uh, you know the beautiful areas we got around here. Uh, one of my favorite places to go ride. It's uh, literally like a um, 20, 30 minute ride to get out there, easy and quiet love it absolutely love it so beautiful sunday um getting caught up on a lot of the projects i'm doing for other people start getting my projects done and uh looking forward to the beautiful weather a little bit farther east out here in the desert so i hope to take you all along out there if you enjoy uh, watching my videos and you're not a subscriber please consider hitting that subscribe button Hit that like button give me some comments below i uh, appreciate anything positive hell i'll even listen to your negative comments i might not like them but i'll listen to them <laughs> thank you very much for watching get out there and find your adventure adios